Sorry. Do you want I, to say what you just said yeah. about the batter? Um, the batter will be thicker than a normal um, batter that you would be using uh, to make injetta with. However, um, it'll end up being thin once we add water and um, and continue on with the process. And I should have had some rubber scrapers here for her to use so that she had an easier time, but I didn't. <laughs> right. They're somewhere, but I can't find them. Okay. Um, right. What I like to use is tepid to warm water, mm -hmm. not hot, okay. but tepid to warm. Um, it's best to have your flower room temperature mm -hmm. because that will, um, you know, start the process uh, yeah. with the leaven in the starter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how much of this starter do you think you have in there? Well, uh, I figure that I, I save about a cup of starter um, per next batch. Okay. Uh, I mean, like one jar, I save about one cup, and sometimes I will save two jars just in case a friend needs them. <laughs> okay, and, and then when you pour the water off, you're putting, you're actually putting a cup of the well, starter. Well, uh, once it's can we Once measure on that? Off, it, it's probably not a cup. It's probably more like half a cup. Let me see. Yeah, that has markings on it. I was just trying to see. And this is a combination of two starters, so this is not an exact science. Okay. Well, that's what this is. That one is. Shari, can you see what that is? I can't read it with my bad eyes. This looks about like half a cup. Three fourths or two thirds of a cup. Two thirds of a cup for the two. This is a double for the, dash for the solid uh, part of the after the water has separated okay. and we poured the water off. Plus right. all the goo that we're going to get out of the jars. Okay. How about it? Okay. okay. All right. So we are going to need five for each recipe. We will need five cups of warmish water. Okay. I'm going to recommend since we have a water softener, it's the the tap water is not very good. How about if we put it in that from that spout and then sure. put it in the microwave for a minute just That's to warm it up a little bit. Okay. Now, if people want to get the starter and they don't have it, how do they get it? Well, um, they would borrow it from a friend, or you could probably make uh, a starter with a tablespoon of yeast um, and, uh, like, say, a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of F, something. Oh, you yeast, could mix you know, it with and yeast. And mix it up with warm water and, you know, let it let it ferment for a day or two. You know, when I made my sourdough starter that I had for years from San Francisco, um, the yeast and the bacteria were a certain kind. Um, did you start this on your own, or did this have the actual bacteria that somebody would I, I started it on my own, and then I've just been keeping it going for, for years. For years, so it's fine. So yeah, it's and, and if it ever dies, I just restart it. Okay. Um, in the same with the tap fashion. Okay. Now in Ethiopia, people keep their batter going all of the time. So um, you mean they're, they're always making the batter itself, not the leek. The batter. They're uh, they're uh, no the leek is batter. Oh, okay. I'm but sorry. But the starter is is kept because the bucket has the residue. So even I. If you use everything in the bucket, you don't rinse it out. So the starter is it's the always, residue yeah, yeah, in the yeah. in the container. I, I got but it. But because I do not eat, uh, you know, injetta every day, I keep it. Right. I keep my starter in the refrigerator. Right. But Ethiopians, they don't keep starter in the refrigerator because they always they, have yes, right. leet bubbling. Right. They cook. They make more leet. Right. Three got days it. later. You know, it's like okay. having bread always. Okay, I'm sorry, um, I'm so confused. The leet is, which uh, one is the leet and which one is the batter? Is it the same batter thing? Batter and the starter. Are they is leet. Batter is leet, what, and starter leet is separate. Is batter. Leet is the amharic. Okay. Okay, and the starter is a little bit of batter. Okay. That's all it is. <laughs> okay, it's, it's I got your, it. The starter is your saved batter. Okay, got it. I understand now. I'm a little slow on this. All okay, right, so we're going to heat like this right. up a little bit in the microwave? Yeah. That's just, it's uh, room temperature. Okay. Just like for a minute or something. Yeah, I mean, it's just, just, just a, a minute. A this, wee, is a a very, this is a very, this is a very weak. Yeah. I'm sure every microwave is different, but mine is very, yeah. very it's weak. So a minute's not going to do bit, anything. A little bit more. And how much did you put in there? How much I put in five. And then you do it again? 
water. Because we need five for each one, right? That's correct. Good. So she's pouring some of this five cups of water into the thing to get every drop. Yes. That's like Ghana. You never waste anything. You get everything out. Okay. So it took about half a minute to warm up the water, right? Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. It is. You know, if we lived in a big city, we could just go to the market and buy some, go to an ethnic market and buy some. Are you going to start buying injera and bringing it we, packaged we did, injera? We um, and froze it, um, but... It didn't sell? No, it did sell. It's just people were very sporadic and, and oh. they would order it and then they wouldn't come and pick it up and other people would buy it, then when they came, they'd be upset. So oh, okay. It was too complicated. <laughs> Whole process. Well, if you can make your own and free some of your own, and then you wouldn't have to make trips all the way in. And I think it would probably be cost-effective, wouldn't it? If I can get the processor. <laughs> oh, come on. This isn't, this part is... Oh, you don't, I have tried this. I don't really? Know oh, really? It. And what, what's done wrong? I can just never get it to cook. To rise? Or get or the does it rise? It just doesn't cook. Like I try like how did you how did you start the uh, the batter? I I didn't really so the one I did um, recently I did like I just fermented some you know, the way you have a carrot and I added it to it and I cooked it like I would a crepe but it just never okay I just would never get it to cook so every time I tried it, it would it wouldn't cook all the way so now is this going to be uh, this, is, this is actually going to be starting for both, both right so you should let her stir some so she um, yeah. gets a feeling for what it's yeah. going to feel like go ahead and um, beat that up just so you see how bit. liquid it is oh it's pretty yeah yeah because what I've done is I've added one I'm just gonna cup check of water okay. um, to that to loosen up get it out the okay so okay so how are you going to Man, end up with oh you're gonna put the water in here I mean how are you gonna split this in half with yeah you'll see okay okay all right we're, we're just to remind people we are actually making a double batch today um, half for us and half for uh, Laura to take <laughs> I mean to keep <laughs> okay um, what we do is we have our leaf in here I mean our um, our batter starter right. And we're going to go ahead and oh now you're gonna that's what you're gonna do. add all of our water and then get four more five more cups. Okay, that has um, that's like four and a half. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna give another half to her. And um, nope, use the other one. I'm sorry, use the other tap just because that sometimes has a funny taste. We don't want a funny taste in there. Oh, so it was five for the two. No, it's five for hers. And it'll be five for mine. And where okay. where are the five for yours? Alright. Oh you ha oh I didn't realize you had split the this in half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why I was that's why I was Sorry. confused. Okay. Okay, we did we had two jars of starter and so we had two sets of it. Okay, and each one of them and, uh, how much is how much is it there for that one? Is it also three quarters of a cup or something? Uh, yeah, half, two thirds. Half to two thirds. Probably two thirds of a cup. Okay. Got it. Oh, I that's I'm a little slow here. Okay. Okay. So basically, that's the process. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off for now, and um, yeah, we're going to just gonna repeat that for the next. Work. I'm just going to heat this. So right. Um, we're going to now mix the light yeah. liquid and what dry What I like to do is I, I mix part of it mm -hmm. and I try to get out the lump mm -hmm. uh, or at least start blending Maybe in the lump. There's a whisk over there if you want to go ahead, Shore, and do it well as she's doing it. See, sometimes she might make it look easier than it really is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it takes a while because, um... Okay. That's good. Just mix it up now. Yeah. Just start cutting it in. Somehow. And you're sort of going around the edges yeah, of it. Yeah. I'm getting the flour in the corners and the edges. Um, just kind of moistening it all. So when people do this in Ethiopia with a plastic bucket, would it also have the flat sides like that or would it be more rounded? Yes. It would be flat. Okay. So you just have to make sure you get it, and get like in about that. three batches or four times. 
Oh, it's even separating a little bit, isn't it? It's That's the heavy, the grains mm -hmm. um, that have, you know, moved down to the bottom of the bowl. 